The fight continues for Chattanooga Volkswagen workers in favor of unionization after the National Labor Relations Board dismissed UAW's petition to allow a vote. Channel 3's Joy Dukes is live in the studio with more on why the UAW says they're back to square one. Joy. Well, David, officials with United Auto Workers say it's been a long road in the battle to represent VW employees, but despite their petition being dismissed yesterday, it doesn't end here. In fact, they're right back where they started. This plant is the only Volkswagen plant in the world that doesn't have a union. For the last four years, United Auto Workers has been trying to change that. Back in December of 2015, the maintenance workers there that fixed the machines, they all voted to form a union. Spokesman Brian Rothenberg says the effort was shot down by VW after the company requested the petition for a union include all hourly workers. Both on the assembly line and the maintenance workers to file. And then again most recently in April when they filed a petition that included all hourly workers. But because the maintenance workers had their pending issue, Volkswagen opposed us having that dismissed. The NLRB sided with VW. In a statement the company issued, VW cited that the board found that the petition wasn't filed properly and any delay is solely due to the union having its petition prior to resolution of the maintenance-only unit issue. Rothenberg called the move a legal game. There is no reason that Volkswagen conti should continue to play legal games. Just let them vote. Well, VW workers may still get the opportunity to vote because hours after the dismissal, UAW refiled their petition. Right back to where we were and on May 31st, there's a hearing to set a voting date. Look, the bottom line here is Chattanooga workers deserve the opportunity to vote. A statement from VW said that they've received the UAW's petition and will work with the NLRB to schedule the election. Again, that hearing is just to schedule a vote. It'll be set for May 31st. By the way, the last time workers voted, they rejected union representation by an 86 vote margin. To view the full statement from VW, you can head to our website or click on this story inside the WRCB app. For now, live in studio, Joy Dukes, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.